This video will show you how to replace the fill valve and flush valve in your Kohler one-piece toilet using Conversion Kit 84499. For this installation, you will need the following tools and materials. Adjustable wrench, Phillips screwdriver, measuring tape, sponge, wax pencil, rags, wire cutter, needle nose pliers, and a bucket. If your toilet model is a pillow talk, the flush valve included in this kit is not compatible with your toilet. Contact the Kohler Customer Care Center at 1-800-4-KOHLER for assistance. This animation is intended as a supplement. Refer to the Installation and Care Guide for important safety information, required tools, and detailed installation instructions. Your toilet and in-tank components may appear different than the ones shown in this video. The instructions still apply. Warning. Risk of property damage. Do not use in-tank cleaners in your toilet. Products containing chlorine, calcium hypochlorite, can seriously damage fittings in the tank. This damage can cause leakage and property damage. Turn off the water supply. Flush the toilet to drain the water from the tank. Lift the flapper and use a sponge to remove any excess water in the tank. Disconnect the rim feed hose from the fill valve and the tank. Discard the rim feed hose. Place a bucket under the fill valve shank to catch any excess water that is left in the tank. Unthread the coupling nut from the fill valve shank. Remove the hex nut from the valve shank. Lift the fill valve out of the tank and set it aside. You will need it later to determine the length of the new float rod. Note the link where the chain connects to the trip lever arm. Disconnect the chain from the trip lever arm. Remove the flapper from the flush valve. Discard the flapper and the chain. Inspect the flush valve to determine if it uses valve lugs. If the flush valve uses valve lugs, loosen the screws holding the lugs in place. Pivot the valve lugs inward, then lift the flush valve from the tank. If the flush valve does not have valve lugs, push down on the valve and twist to remove it from the tank. Discard the flush valve. Use a rag to clean the area around the hole. Make sure the area around the hole is free of debris before installing the new flush valve. If your toilet is a Cabernet or Rochelle, use a wax pencil to make a mark one half inch above the water line printed on the new flush valve. If you change the water line mark, cross out the water line printed on the flush valve. Attach the new seal to the bottom of the flush valve with the wide side down. Insert the screws into the holes inside the flush valve. Thread the valve lugs onto the screws. Position the valve lugs inward. Place the flush valve in the tank so the valve lugs extend into the hole. Turn the valve lugs outward under the bottom of the tank. Using needle nose pliers, hold the valve lugs in place. With a Phillips screwdriver, tighten the valve lugs evenly so the valve seal slightly compresses over the hole. Be careful not to over-tighten the valve lugs. Over-tightening may cause cracking or chipping of the vitreous china. If the hole in your tank is triangular, make sure the valve lugs extend under the sides of the triangle and not the corners. Attach the flapper to the flush valve. Determine the chain length using the existing chain. Attach the chain to the trip lever arm. There should be some slack in the chain when the flapper is at rest. Adjust the chain as necessary. Use wire cutters to remove all but three of the extra chain links. Unthread the rod from the original fill valve. Compare the old rod to the new rods included in this kit. Select the rod that is the same length as the old one. Discard the unused rods and the original fill valve. Thread the locking nut onto one end of the rod. Thread the new float ball one half inch onto the other end of the rod. Thread the rod into the fill valve and tighten the locking nut. Insert the fill valve through the hole in the bottom of the tank. Insert the new rim feed hose in the hole in the front of the tank and connect it to the fill valve. If you are having difficulty inserting the rim feed hose into the hole in the front of the tank, 
Soak the hose in boiling water for a few seconds to make the rubber more pliable. Make sure the float ball does not interfere with the tank or any other tank components. Adjust the ball as needed. Thread the hex nut onto the float valve shank and hand tighten until secure. Tighten it an additional quarter turn with a wrench. Reconnect the supply line to the valve shank. If you have a rigid supply connection, replace the coupling nut with the one provided in this kit. Turn on the water supply and allow the tank to refill. Check the tank water level and turn the fill valve adjustment screw as needed to adjust the water level to the waterline mark. If your toilet is a Cabernet or Rochelle, be sure the water height reaches the line drawn above the printed waterline. To make adjustments to the bowl water height or refill rate, refer to the instructions provided with your service kit. Identify and purchase only genuine Kohler service parts to maintain optimum performance of your product.